All right, so once you get your, your handlebars, they're gonna come in a box. Um, we don't recommend tearing the foam completely off of them. Uh, we don't want anything to get scratched or banged up during the internal wiring process. Uh, so we like to just tear the foam off of the handles uh, and tear it off enough at the base where you can get to the, the center slot. All right, so just tear it off, tear the foam off just up to the inch and a quarter part uh, where you have access to the slot there. Same thing on the other side. And if you want to tear into the base a little bit more, you can. Main thing, we don't want to damage anything that's visible. Uh, anything that's going to be in your face, you know, anything that people are going to see, we want that to stay intact and in good shape. All right, so before you start loading your harnesses in your, in your bars, a um, couple things. Uh, you want to make sure you've got a good spot, um, you know, that's secure and stable uh, to do your work on. Uh, here we're using a vise and something that we've kind of fabricated. Uh, if you see us at the rallies, you'll see us doing them in our lap. Uh, this is our preferred way. Um, it's just the way we've always done it. So just whatever works best for you. Uh, we don't recommend just laying them on the table and rubbing them around. <coughs> uh, the bars may get scratched up. Uh, so you want something that's a little bit elevated. Like I said, our preferred method is doing it in our lap. Um, but this works right here as well. Uh, so before we get started, a couple things that we want to do. Uh, this stock uh, throttle by wire harness comes with a thick uh, black loom on it. Uh, we want to remove it completely and we're going to do just a single loop of electrical tape uh, around the harness. Uh, we're also going to depin uh, this big black connector. Um, this is for our heated grips and then we're going to do the same thing <coughs> on the left side for our heated grip harness. All right, so we're going to peel this electrical tape that comes on here. Try to leave this blue tape uh, on the harness. Um, this shows if there ever was an issue, um, if you'll notice you've got two red wires, two black wires, two white wires. This blue tape keeps the group of red, black, and white wires together um, and it just shows which side that they're supposed to go on. It's more of just precautionary um, if you do lose it, it's not the end of the world. If it comes off, it's not the end of the world. Um, but just down the road, it's a good idea to keep it on there. I'm gonna peel that tape back. All right, we like to use these surgical scissors. Uh, it kind of helps um, ensure that the, the harness isn't damaged when we're cutting it off. Um, but regular scissors will work. Just be careful not to nick the harness when you're removing this. All right, now just to make sure that the, the harness stays together uh, when we're pulling it inside the bar, uh, we're just gonna do a single loop of electrical tape about every four or five inches. And this is the process that we've been doing it for five years now. Um, we've never had any chafing issues inside the bar um, from the wires rubbing against uh, the tube. Okay, now lastly on the throttle by wire harness, we're gonna deep in um, this plug here. Um, this is for if you have heated grips. Uh, if you don't have heated grips, um, we still like to deep in it. Just makes it going through the bar easier. Um, if you have no plans to ever add heated grips, you can snip it off here. All right, so on this plug, you'll notice there's a tiny door on the back side. We're gonna get a, a small flathead screwdriver. There's tabs on either side of it. We're just gonna wedge our little screwdriver in there and open up that door. All right, so before you deep in your wires, just take note of where the black wire is, where the white wire is. Uh, you can draw your little map or take a picture of it, you know, whatever. Um, we've got a uh, uh, small flathead screwdriver that we've ground down uh, to where it just makes a, uh, a skinny point. 
Um, there are tabs inside where your wire terminals are. Uh, you're gonna lift up on those tabs slightly and the, the pin will pull out. You kind of just got to get a feel for it. Pull out just like that. All right, now on the heated grip side, we're going to do something real similar uh, that we did on our uh, throttle by wire harness. Um, it has the same type connections, uh, same, same process with the door, uh, popping it loose, um, deep in the, the, the wire pins. Um, you've got a male and a female, but essentially they're, they're pretty much the same. Um, as the throttle by wire side. Once again, take note of, of where your wires are. Uh, on one of these harnesses, you have a, a black and a red. Uh, the other one, you just have um, zebra look, black and white, black and white. So before we deep in the plugs, we're gonna do just like we did on our uh, throttle by wire harness. Just do a single loop of electrical tape about every four inches just to keep the harness together. All right, so just like we did on the throttle by wire harness, we're gonna open the door. Gonna depress. Remove that plug. And same thing on the male plug. Open the door. That one. That one. All right, so now we're ready to start loading our uh, switch harnesses into the handlebar. All right, so now we're going to blow a string um, through our bar. Uh, we're going to use this string uh, to get our, our pull wire uh, through the handlebar. Uh, this is just your everyday string. Uh, we, we've got an air compressor, just going to blow it through. We, we like to start with the throttle side first. Um, uh, if you don't have heated grips, you just have two harnesses that you're trying to get through uh, the throttle sides. So we like to do the hard side first. So we're going to blow our string through the base slot here in the middle, uh, and it'll go right out the handle. All right, so we're gonna pull our string um, through the, the slot where our switch harness wires will go. And we're just gonna feed our pull wire through the bar. Now this pull wire is a 12 gauge copper stranded wire. Um, we've tried everything, um, you know, taking every suggestion. Uh, this seems to be the one thing that has always worked the best for us. Uh, so 12 gauge copper stranded and the trick during this process is to push the harness through the bar and pull the slack out. Uh, if you get hung up, back feed it a little bit and try again. Maybe twist the harness just a tad, you know, it might be catching an edge um, somewhere inside the bar. Alright, so we're on our right hand switch harness. What you want to do is line these two plugs up um, where they're where they'll go in there as smooth as possible. You don't want to you don't want to line them up, you know, where they're making a, a bigger obstruction than what they already are. So we want to line them up the best we can, and we're going to start taping right behind the plug. Do a nice tight loop of tape, and just carry on all the way to the end of the of the plugs. You don't want to over tape this. Uh, you want the least amount of stuff going through the bar as possible. So just get a nice tight wound um, run of tape. All right, so now we're going to start pushing our harness through the bar. Like I stated earlier, you want to push the harness and pull out the slack. Push, pull out the slack. All right, if you need to, 
you can remove the switch harness out of the switch housing to give you a little bit extra length. All right, once, you, once your harness comes out of the bottom slot here, uh, you can remove your tape. All right, so now we're gonna feed our pull wire down to our string. And we're gonna feed our string through the end of the handle. And now chase our pull wire through the end of the tube. And we'll be ready to tape off our throttle by wire harness and snake it through. All right, same thing for the throttle by wire harness. We don't want to use a ton of tape. Just want to tape it tight and tape it light. We're going to start right behind the plug. Good to go. All right, so same uh, principle here. You're gonna push the harness, pull out the slack. If you get hung up, just back it out a little bit. You can turn the harness. Once it comes out of the bottom slot here, you can untape it. All right, now we're done with the right side. So you can remove your pull wire from the, from the right side of the handlebar. So when you're doing this, just make sure that it doesn't catch on the, the, the switch harness and, and for whatever reason, pull it back through the bar. Um, you, you don't wanna lose what you've already pulled through. So now we're ready to start on the left side. Uh, we're gonna do about the same thing we're gonna blow our harness through, or blow our, our uh, string through the bar, um, and, then, and then pull our pull wire through as well. All right, so we're gonna tape off our left harness. Once again, just right behind the plug, nice and tight. All right, now we're gonna push and pull our harness through, just like we did on the right side. Once it comes through the bottom slot, you can untape it. All right, same thing for our uh, heated grip harness that we did uh, for the throttle by wire. We're gonna feed our pull wire through till we get to our string. And we're gonna feed it out of the end of the tube. All right, so first we're gonna tape these two harnesses together. Same principle, just tight and light. All right, then we're gonna tape our harness to the pull wire. And we're gonna push and pull them through.
You can untape it once it comes out of the slot. All right, so now we're gonna put our, our plug connectors back on um, our uh, throttle by wire harness for our heated grips. Uh, and we're also gonna put our plug connectors on our uh, heated grip harness uh, on the left side as well. Just remember, uh, take a look at your picture or your map that you drew. Make sure you got your colors back in the right spot. Um, these just pop right back in there and then you'll close that tiny door that we opened earlier. That just locks them in. All right, so now we're gonna plug in our electrical extensions. Uh, we have these for um, our wiring harnesses and we also have the heated grip extensions as well. Um, these will just, they're just plug and play. They plug right in uh, to your existing stock harness uh, and then they'll plug into the bike. I'll plug in the left side extension. This is just a single plug. We'll plug in the right side extension. This will be your two plug. And then we will plug in our heated grip extensions. These are just color coded. Just match them up. All right, so we're gonna make the loop uh, for our right hand and our left hand heated grips. Um, you're gonna plug in uh, the, the white and black uh, harness from the left hand side to the white and black um, plug coming out of the throttle by wire harness. Once again, this is gonna make the loop. The other harness that comes out of the throttle by wire, uh, that's for your power. Uh, it'll plug into the bike. All right, so now we're gonna mount our switch housings uh, back onto the bar. If you had to pull uh, your harness out of the housing, uh, we're gonna make sure that we nest it back in there um, the way it was. This will prevent it from, from getting pinched or in a bind um, when you clamp it all down. So we're gonna make sure that the harness is going through these two teeth here and into this little uh, slot um, so that there's no interference with the, with the tube and it. And then it's just gonna clip on. You'll hear it click. All right, same thing on the other side. Uh, this one we didn't remove from the switch harness, um, so it's in there the way it was. Just clip onto the bar, and you'll hear the door click. This grip is keyed, so it'll nest into the switch uh, housing. All right, so now we're gonna slide our uh, throttle grip uh, onto the bar. If you have heated grips, this is where you're gonna plug in um, the, uh, the power plug uh, to the throttle by wire sensor. Uh, this has got two prongs and it's kind of hard to see, but there are two um, uh, plug-in points uh, for those prongs that are in the, in the uh, end of the sensor. Uh, we use a pair of needle nose pliers to grab the plug. Just try to line it up. Don't force it, you don't want to bend them. Pop right in. Just kind of nest that wire down in there. Then you can put your cap on. All right, now we're gonna pop our switch covers on. Go on just like they came off. Using a Torx uh, 25. Don't tighten them all the way down. In case you need to adjust them when we get them on the bike. All right, lastly, we're gonna pop our odometer button back on. This just slides on. All right, we're good to go. We're ready to put our bars on the bike now.